We've had so many good times here. Inside the bake shop in New York Mills, a mammoth muscle mixer preps more dough for holiday buns. 30, 35 dozen hamburger buns in there. And Leroy Smith, who came to work while most of us slept today. Oh, I get here anywhere between 1 and 2 in the morning. Moves around his ovens and prep tables like a veteran. The last couple of weeks, been, being until we're quitting, people have been really coming in strong. A veteran of his bakery for 42 years. This is a glaze that I put on those eulacagas when they come out of the oven. A sleep-deprived, good-humored, talented craftsman of all things sweet and good. But it's been a good life. I wouldn't change anything. I've, I've enjoyed it. The war in Vietnam was just winding down when Leroy decided to put out a shingle in New York Mills. We bought it December 9th, 1971. A family tradition. Yeah, my dad was a baker in Parker's Prairie. He owned a bakery there. And so for nearly a half century, Leroy and Josie have fed the town of New York Mills. Birthdays, weddings, funerals for friends. <laughs> this all ends Christmas Eve day. And then tomorrow we're done. So. What's that like? Scary. Almost as scary as when I started here, so. It's always been my favorite place to work, ever. Yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah. just was, Leroy was the best boss. That's Mary Wendells, who worked here 35 years ago, left, but came back today. We had more fun. It was fun instead of work. Mary drove back from the St. Cloud area just to see Leroy and frost a few Christmas cookies. There is, she says, something about this place. This is part of home when people come home, yeah. It is. And in high school, we'd come here for our rolls instead of eating the school food, so. <laughs> and being in the heart of Finlander country, Leroy has become a pro at making Finnish specialties like this sweet bread and cinnamon toast, both with names this Norwegian can't pronounce. Because we grew up on it. The school served it and. This has been a six day a week job. I mean, the, these kind of hours are Definitely not for everybody. Vacations at the lake during the summer? Forget it. And a few days off in the winter simply means? We close shop. And Leroy is a little sentimental when thinking about the hours he put in here to support his family over the years. My kids were just being born when I bought this. And now I have great grandchildren and they're gonna be the first ones I spend any time with. You know, my kids grew up and I watched them go and, and my grandkids grew up and, and now they're having kids and the first ones I can really spoil are going to be my great grandkids. <laughs> That's a good thing. And they'll probably really get spoiled. Yummy. Young and old call this home. Here at the bake shop, the regulars even have their own coffee cups with their names on them. <laughs> the cozy comforts of home, the smell of fresh bread, and a cherished Main Street tradition. From New York Mills, Kevin Wallivan, WDAY 6 News.